how Washington became the capital of the United States. Before Washington, D.C., there were other capital cities. The Continental Congress met several times. It consisted of representatives from the 13 colonies. In 1744, they gathered in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Over the next six years, they met in Baltimore, Maryland, and Lancaster, Pennsylvania. By 1788, Congress had met in Princeton, New Jersey, Annapolis, Maryland, Trenton, New Jersey, and New York, New York. New York City became the first official U.S. capital in 1785. The first federal Congress met at City Hall in New York City in 1789. City Hall was renamed Federal Hall. On April 30, 1789, George Washington was sworn in as the first president of the U.S. The event also took place at Federal Hall. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania would have been a contender for the first capital, but in June 1783, the Pennsylvania mutiny took place in the city. Congress was forced to flee Philadelphia. This was disconcerting to the writers of the Constitution. They phrased the establishment of a federal seat of power very carefully. They looked to find a permanent and autonomous option. New York City became a placeholder. The Compromise of 1790 resulted in a southern capital. In June 1790, Jefferson and Hamilton came face to face. They talked about the political interests of Federalists and Anti-Federalists. On June 20th, an agreement was reached. Congress passed the Residence Act. In July 1790, the nation's capital was supposed to be on the Potomac River. Philadelphia was to serve as a temporary capital for 10 years. Per the Constitution, the seat of government was to be in a particular district. It was to be created from land given by the session of particular states. The president was tasked with finding the location on the Potomac River. George Washington opted for a site where the river branches off to the east. Maryland and Virginia had to cede land for the district. Washington enlisted the services of Pierre L'Enfant. This French engineer designed the city's layout. The city's name honors George Washington. The capital in the city was intended as a first meridian for the U.S. The area was going to be called the Territory of Columbia. It was in homage to the eponymous goddess. Columbia was the deification of Christopher Columbus's legacy. In 1775, the formerly enslaved Phyllis Wheatley included Columbia in her poem Enclosure. Fixed are the eyes of nations on the scales, for in their hopes, Columbia's arm prevails. This notion informed the final choice to name the territory of Columbia. It later became the District of Columbia. Congress first met in Washington, D.C. in 1800. In 1801, John Adams became the first president to occupy the White House. D.C. was nearly destroyed during the War of 1812. British troops set fire to the Capitol building, the presidential residence, and other important buildings. During this conflict, the Star Spangled Banner was penned. Home rule was awarded to D.C. in 1973. Congress granted Washington a mayor, a 13-member council, and independent agencies. Today, many D.C. residents want full statehood. Columbia may one day become the 51st state.